Okay, so this is Raspberry Pi OS, and this is the Bullseye version, which is the older version now that we've got Bookworm. But the impressive thing about this is it's running on an Orange Pi 03. Unfortunate for me, it's all in what I think is Chinese, uh, apart from some of the things that come up on Terminal. So very hard for me to understand. Uh, but I have got a Raspberry Pi 5 next to me, uh, also running Raspberry Pi OS, and I'm going to see if I can change the language. Okay, so I think it's in Raspi config, so actually some of this is in English, although that bit doesn't seem to launch. I wonder if it's in the normal Raspi config. Let's have a look in there and see. Localization, locale, I think I'm looking for EN, ENGB. Let's go with that one, yeah. System options, no. Display options, interface. Funny that it's got all these, because obviously a lot of these connections it hasn't got. Performance, the overclock, if you click on that, you can see it's only a Pi 1 and a Pi 2. So maybe it thinks it's a Pi 4. So localization didn't work. Okay, advanced options. So I tried a load of things and I still can't get it working. Um, but if you scroll down through, you can see that a lot of things, well, they've either got icons or they're actually written in English anyway. So it's not too much of a problem. Uh, I installed Gparted, uh, and the way I did that was with Terminal, with uh, sudo apt install Gparted, uh, and that worked absolutely fine. This is just asking for my password, which it doesn't know. Oh, is it going to be root? Let's try OPI. Oh, okay, so the password's OPI. And you can see that the partition needs to be expanded. It doesn't auto-expand. But we can right-click and... I think it's that one. Yeah, it is. I've done this so many times. Uh, and then I guess it's this one. And then tick. And yes. And yes. So that's now expanded the partition. So if we go into File Manager, you can see, yeah, annoyingly some things uh, still have the Chinese characters. But this isn't an operating system I'm going to use uh, on the Orange Pi Zero. But it, this was more to show how it runs, really. And it actually runs all right. It's, it's surprisingly good. So let's try installing something that I would normally install. So say something like P-Sensor and see if that works. And let's open up the web browser. Oh, let's go back to that. So yes to that. And a lot of the things are coming from the official uh, Debian bullseye, but then you get a lot with Chinese language, so I don't know what it's doing there, whether it's pulling from the Orange Pi servers or whatever. So if I now type in P sensor, there you go, that comes up, and it's showing me the temperature of all four cores. Uh, and, in fact, let's go back to NeoFetch again, just to show what it shows. Uh, so Debian 11, Bullseye, Orange Pi 03, the kernel 6.1.38, so quite recent. Uh, packages, bash, 1920 by 1080 is my desktop resolution, LXDE, uh, 1.5 gigahertz, and this is a 4 gig model. So all of that seems to be working all right. Let's try installing PyKiss and see what happens. You never know. But obviously it's different. It's completely different architecture. Uh, but it, the browser's all right. It, it actually does seem to be working all right. I mean, the great thing about Raspberry Pi OS is it's such a super lightweight operating system. So on an entry-level device like this, it's pretty impressive. So let's, oh, it's going to be that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, PyKiss only for Raspberry Pi boards. Okay. So, uh, well, let's try add remove. Um, yeah, luckily that's in English. And type in Xmoto. It's just a game I always try. Uh, super simple, but really enjoyable. Is this going to come up in English? Xmoto. Oh, blog boats is good as well. Let's just go go with all of those. Apply. 
and OPI is the password. So if I go to orange pi zero three, and then click on that. Oh, that's the wiki, I want the site ready. We'll see what it loads. Yeah, I don't want that one. I want this one. It's it's usable. Uh, so downloads, and you can see if you if you go down through, there are there is an official Debian image or an official one from OrangePie.org. Uh, and if we scroll down through, there's an Ambient image, a Kali uh, Linux image, and this is the one I'm using, Raspberry Pi OS. And uh, you just go into releases and scroll down until you can find the right one. So in the case of this one, Orange Pi 03, and then just download this one. And that will need to be unzipped before you write the image. I've written it to an SD card. Um, so download it, uh, click on it to unzip it. I couldn't unzip it on my Mac. I tried two different programs and it didn't work. It kept failing. So I used uh, my Raspberry Pi 5 with KDE Plasma, just clicked on it, it unzipped. And then I used Raspberry Pi Imager to to install it, and there was nothing extra, so I had a real a real job trying to install. Oh dear! Uh, so the bottom option is custom images. Oh no, that, again, that's in English. So custom images, and then you would navigate to where your download was, which would be in your downloads folder, which is one of these. Uh, and that would be where your image is, and then you just install it to the SD card. So yeah, it was pretty simple to install, but um, but the language thing is a bit of a barrier for me. Right, let's go back and see uh, if they're installed. So let's go to games and Xmoto. Battery 80%. Surely Bluetooth's not going to work, is it? Let's give it a try. Or oh, where did it go? Oh, it's here. So if I start my Bluetooth speaker Ready in pairing. Okay, it doesn't look like it's showing up. I'm gonna turn down the volume because what might be happening is the music might be playing in this and I can't hear it because I'm capturing it. Right, so let's click on that, new profile. And use profile and yes. Okay, levels. Just pick anything and see if it works. It looks all right. Yeah, that's working. Working at the right speed and everything as well. Oh, I had this one before. I think you probably have to do a serious jump. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go up here and do a 180, but trying to stay close to the wall. No, that's, that, that's not worked. You gotta try and stay close to the wall, I would say and then get some serious beans to go. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be quite tricky, but worth a look at. So let's try blob boats. Oh dear, I grabbed hold of that and I didn't mean to. Quick game and yes. Oh, something slowed down. Something's locked up. Okay, let's close a few things down. And this one. So is this what's running? Okay, well we'll ignore that uh, that window for now. Blob boats. Play game. Let's just go for one of these. I haven't played this for a while. Oh, you've got to do. It looks like you've got to do the tutorials first. Press start to playing to unpause. Oh, it's a bit slow. This is quite cool. I like the physics on this. And as you can see, it's working. Let's go a bit faster to get over it. Oh, and you can spin around. Very, very similar controls to Xmoto. Anyway, that's working, albeit a bit jerky. So let's exit back and quit. Well, a surprising amount does work in that Windows, definitely. It's in there for the long haul. Oh, unless I can, is that close? Oh yeah. Okay, that got rid of it, although it's still it's it's still up here. Maybe it's that. Should we try uh Alt F4? F1? Okay, we'll leave that. 
Um, but there are instructions on the Orange Pi site, um, and I, I guess if you put it through a translator, there'll be some useful information in there. There was definitely information about expanding the partition uh, and things like that. So if we go to downloads, go to the Raspberry Pi OS one, and it comes up with a GitHub, and you can see there's all sorts of information in there. But if you click on the Orange Pi 031, so somewhere around here I found some docs. Oh, it was the README, I think it was. So if we click on the README, there are some details, uh, Orange Pi 0. And if we scroll down through, there is, uh, and they've got all these, they, all this is in English, but I couldn't, it didn't look like um, the instructions were in there. But again, if I was gonna use this, I would spend more time uh, doing it. But uh, I just thought I'd, I'd put it out there. If people have bought an Orange Pi Zero and they wanna try Raspberry Pi OS, then the option is there. Okay, so anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.